All right, what's up folks? Uh, my name is Brian Sutton. I am the owner of It's Cool Vision and I am a video marketing consultant. So, VidConnect. First of all, I wanna just take a quick moment to thank you for tuning in with me for a few minutes just so I can show you how VidConnect can grow your sales at your, at your restaurant. And there's some other things that it can grow too, other marketing KPIs, but we can discuss that later. Um, so let me just let me just illustrate how it works here. All right, so the first step, we're going to drive traffic. Okay, and that's going to lead to the next step where we're going to connect at scale. Okay. And then lastly, we are going to track performance. Okay. So in its simplistic explanation, we're going to take people from or cold audience, so meaning people who may know you, may know your restaurant or may not know your restaurant, we're gonna drive traffic to them or drive, uh, excuse me, uh, marketing communications to them, mainly videos. That's our USP here at It's Cool Vision. We are, we are, we've done videos for 10 plus years. And just as a side note, that's what we did for a bit. Our business was designed around creating custom videos for businesses that worked in their businesses to produce certain results or help them get to a goal. And now what we're doing is we're taking our expertise in the in the video field and applying it to vehicles to get to an end result, which is your sales. So we're going to take cold audiences, drive traffic to them, and we're going to connect with them using automation. Let me write that here. Automation. That's the key. You know, so we're so we're taking the mundane work out of responding to people and um, doing the work, the grunt work of communicating with people. And we're going to implement a system or a, 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 a platform that we use to connect with people using automation. Um, and then lastly, we're going to yield results where we can track the performance of yourself. So let's dive in just a little bit more. First, with driving traffic, and as I said here, let me just draw a little, draw a little, little uh, video, video marketing. That's, that, that's our lead. That's how we how we draw people to you. We're gonna get people to know your restaurant, see in your restaurant, be enticed uh, to visit your restaurant. We're gonna pique their interest, okay? So how we're doing that mainly is through social media, okay? The good thing about today today's time, you know, back in the old days, you know, you had radio, you had TV ads, and, and you know, it took a lot of work and a lot of investment to get your marketing messages out. Not today. Today, we can reach audiences. You know, there, there's ways to do it for pennies on the dollar and and maximize that, that, that engagement and attention um, opposed to the past. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do social media ads to reach the people and people, I mean, Facebook, there's billions of people up there. We use Facebook, Instagram, um, TikTok, or even apps like the Neighborhood app. Anywhere where people, we can find where we can implement ads where people's attention is, okay? So that's that's our main way. Now there's other ways that we can, we can increase or we can drive traffic to such as email, like if you have an email list that you have not been using, that is dead money. There's money in that email list and people are, you know, they are not hearing from you if you aren't using it. In turn, they're not seeing your promotions and your marketing uh, that's getting, that, that would get them to come to your restaurant again, or if they haven't been the first time. So we got email and then if you have phone numbers, we have text. We have text that we can do. And also, you know, your website. Um, if, if people are going to your website for, for, for whatever reason, we can drive traffic from there. And then lastly, events. 
So these four different ways are additional ways. But first we would tackle social media ads because that it's scalable. We can we 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 implement our our video advertisements and and we connect with people and then we engage them to get to our next point where we, we can connect with them. From like I said, I'm explaining from the macro view. So I don't, you know, we're not gonna get into the weeds or the thick of of, of how it all works, but that's the main way, social media ads. All right, so how we connect that scale with automation is by using chatbots, chatbot marketing. It's not like artificial intelligence because it's it's not it doesn't have a brain of its own, but what we do is we design the communication. We know we know how um, interactions are. You know how to communicate with someone. We take that communication and replicate it using chatbot marketing. Okay. Excuse my writing. So again, what chatbot marketing is, we design a, a sequence of communications with various people. This it doesn't have to be with one type of person or one type of promotion. It's what it, however many um, segmented types of conversations we wanna have. So that's the main thing. And, and what we do is we use mini chat. You can feel free to look it up on your own to see its validity, but mini chat is a partner with Meta using the Messenger app. Now, the Messenger app can be used anywhere, of course, on the Messenger app, and then also you can place it on your website, and also it can be a link. Uh, it's called a ref URL. It's like a, a link that can be placed anywhere so that people can get to that, that uh, Messenger thread with it from their phone or iPad or computer. So they can reach our chatbot marketing through anywhere. All right, so after we, we drive traffic and connect with them, we're going to, to give them an offer. That's what the main thing, that's the, the, the lead to the next step. We're gonna give them an offer for uh, your restaurant, whatever, and you know, we can design several different types of offers for several different people. And when we give them an offer, we're going to collect the information at the same time. Okay, so that's very two very important things. We're gonna entice them to your restaurant by giving them an offer. They're gonna say, of course, yes. And we say, okay, good. We're gonna send you an email with, or we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna give them reason or incentive to give us their email and or phone number um, and any other things. And, and you, you, don't, you don't wanna ask for too much up front, but email at least. We're gonna collect that information. And what the power in that is, we can now market market to them off, off uh, the platform in any shape, form, or fashion of how we want. Building an email list. So when we give them an offer, it's not like they just, we, you know, typically they say, hey, uh, um, um, take this code or or show the code to the, to the, uh, to the, uh, the salesperson or the person ringing them up or their the waitress or waiter. What in many chat, what they have to do is redeem the offer. Now the importance in that is redeeming versus showing, uh, redeeming, they have to actually acknowledge that they are getting the, the promotion. And then also we can make it to where they can't re or, or excuse me. And also they can't redeem it more than once. So that eliminates people using your promotions or your coupons over and over and over and over. We can make custom coupons that are one one single use coupons um, that are redeemed, not shown, redeemed. That means they have to go to, to the conversation that we had, click redeem offer, and it'll, it'll say, you know, it'll say, uh, are you sure? And you say, yes. Um, there's a sequence of communication with that, just a quick quick step sequence at least and they're gonna redeem the offer. All right, so after they redeem the offer, we can take it one step further. And in that, it, it'll, in that messenger chat, it'll, once they click redeem, we immediately ask, uh, and we can just do a click of a button or we can, they can put the actual amount in, just kind of depends which way we wanna do it. 
but we say how much was your how much was your uh, bill? So let's just say it was forty bucks, forty dollars. Now we know how much that person spent, um, and they redeemed the offer. We know who redeemed the offer and how much they spent, which allows us to track sales. That's the big thing. Each month we can track the sales from the offer that was present that was communicated with them through automation. Now keep in mind the beauty in this is that all this is getting done without anyone on your team doing it at all. It's getting all done through automation and that's using the power of technology. Now that's it in a nutshell and then we take it further. Like I said, we can we can measure the marketing KPIs. Okay? So for for instance, all we may have a thousand people that claim the offer. Okay. That means a thousand emails. We got a thousand emails. Um, and so we have offer claims and then we also have redeem. So for instance, like I said, let's say a thousand people offered or claimed the offer. We got a thousand emails, but 680 redeemed it. We know who the 680 people are from them going in, redeeming the offer and let us know how much they, they uh, spent in the app. And then also we have the marketing KP, KPI, the email collected for the thousand people. Now that's important. As you know, down the road, we can market to all those people, whether they bought or not. And we can almost also segment who bought the emails that the, or segment the emails that the people who bought and the people who claimed the offer. So there's, that's just further marketing but we can segment segmentation is great for that marketing KPI. So there's other, other things like if we got a phone number or, um, other, other KPIs that are available within the journey that we designed for your restaurant. But that's it in a nutshell, drive traffic, connect that scale and track the performance. And then we bring it home by rinsing, and repeat. Excuse me, <laughs> that's uh, it's a little ugly looking there, but you get the point. So that's it in, in a nutshell. Like I said, macro view, drive traffic, connect that scale, track performance, rinse and repeat. Now, again, I thank you for taking the moment to watch this video, just get an understanding of what VidConnect is and I just wanted to explain who I am real quick and why this is important to me. So as I mentioned previously for the past 10 plus years, I made videos for businesses, custom videos that helped grow their businesses within their respective journey or processes that we were doing. And now I am on a mission to take my gift or my knowledge and experience from making those videos and implementing them into a system that grows impact. The impact I want to have is, and I'm starting with restaurants specifically, um, I wanna help people, I wanna help get butts in seats. I wanna help people know your, know your business, know your restaurant and be connected to your restaurant. That's the impact I wanna leave. I want to be able to change people's lives. I, want, I don't want to just do something I'm gifted at anymore. Um, I want to be able to take the things that I'm gifted at and attach it to something greater. And that is VidConnect, helping restaurants grow their businesses one at a time. So on the screen right now, you'll see a sale or some type of promotion that I'm doing to attract you to work with me. Whatever that, whatever it is that you see on the screen right now, click the button, click whatever it is to move forward. Um, it may be just a phone call um, or whatever it is, but reach out to me, you know, click the button, schedule the phone call. Everything starts with a quick conversation. And that's all I wanna do is have a quick conversation with you and, and uh, we can talk a little bit more about how this can work for your restaurant and go from there. Um, I really hope we can uh, get together and do that and 
I look forward to it. School vision. Vid connect. Peace.